we're here at Nostalgia finally, but um, it's almost unrecognizably different. Um, last time I tried to come, it just happened to be closed that day. Um, so I'm super excited because it's been a hot minute. Are you excited? No. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We've got a whole new store tour to do now, but from a first impression perspective, because we just got in here. So again, you guys, this is called Nostalgia Pelham. Uh, it's in like around Birmingham, Alabama, near Hoover, a town called Pelham, Pelham. Um, and look, Sunil and these little guys that you just got one. And they've got treasure trolls, a lot of treasure trolls. I don't feel like there were that many before. Look at all that. And there's a precious moments section again. <laughs> there wasn't for a minute, huh? Oh, look at her there's with the cornucopia. Box, I fear. <laughs> Look at the cornucopia one. Aww. She's really interesting. Is that one of the ones with that defect that makes her face kind of scary? Yeah. Anyone with that sort of a uh, face mold? Because those are the oh, precious. She, oh, she's like she has dancing. Yeah. Mine bobs its head too. <laughs> they dance. They do a little dance. And we've got <gasps> Rainbow Bright. I got my man in Austin Powers. Okay. Oh, look. Are those the. Those are the, like the 90s ones, yeah. Um, um I. Those are for me, actually. Little known fact about me is that I'm getting these. Oh. <laughs> what if I'm Do you? No. I don't feel like a strawberry shortcake. Well, maybe you could. I can't. I got Monster High. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They mean? don't. Look, it's Franken. Monter? Franken time. <laughs> oh, look. Monters and brat. Brat boys are kind of like monsters if you think about it. Let's look at them. <laughs> I like their clothes. Yeah, they have really good outfits yeah, that they, look really good on others. They kind of have swag. You gotta give them that. <laughs> boys with the swag. There's so much stuff. The Disney. Look at all the inbox guys. The slim box collection here. I love that one's outfit. If it wasn't the way Mattel does outfits now. Like, imagine if that had actually been knit. Like, how cool that would have been. We could never. We got a lot of dolls here. Who is this? She's silly. I'm in love with her. She's like, oh! Yeah, she's... Hmm? Why is she silly? She go, ah! <laughs> she go, what? I like this new setup. It's so cute. Oh, look at her face. So interesting. I think that's probably her outfit. Yippee! Look at this one. So cute. Oh my gosh. So much stuff. <laughs> what are you looking for? I, don't know. I like your signature hairstyle, nerd. Thank you. My signature hairstyle is down. Oh. Well, I would think kissing Barbie, but the crown. Her face don't look yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with that doll. Oh, she's Mattel, 1966. Yeah, yeah I know the face sculpt, but I don't know. Taiwan. I'm obsessed with her face. She's so cute. She is. Oh, wow. Look at the clothes. You're going to be I digging know. through there forever, aren't you? I, I, I had to walk away. I want to look at everything else. This is an excellent dollhouse here. I love that they've decided that the attic is for, like, Kelly's and baby dolls because they don't need as much space to stand. Oh, shoppies. <laughs> all these. Look at all these little... Who is this? I don't know that guy. That's big Strawberry baby. shark king. What's this? I actually have no idea what that is. Oh. You're not supposed to know anything that I don't. I don't remember, but they had like a fidget thing. Oh. They're like a fidget guy. I've never seen them. Tons of boxy girls. Do you even know these boxy girls? I, I was the boxy girl. Okay. Guy. The boxy guy. Nobody else gets them. Like <laughs> they have a really good body for rebodies. Yeah. That one's really cute. I just didn't like the blind packaging because you. Do you know their outfits? Is that her outfit? Yes. I'm kind of in love with this outfit. I don't know if the shoes are hers, but the... Yeah. The 
They were in stores for a hot minute and then they just disappeared off the face of the planet. Yeah. I think I have that one. The, uh, the seating for the boxes was just, like, Cutie. terrible, though. I'd get, like, the same one for Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, were they blind packages? Yeah. I thought they weren't. They had blind packages, oh. and then they had, like, sets where you could get them out of the I don't box. like that one. That's a baby. Take me home! Oh, this is Peaky Parrot. I don't have this one, but no shoes. Take me home! What I is this, it. though? Only $5. Is that Love Diana or something? I don't know. I don't know. She loves you. <laughs> I don't. They're so mean. Yeah. Oh, look, it's pink. Oh, they're so cute. She's so cute. I oh, really. That's her PJs, I think. Her Yeah. Well, I just go by the PJs. Look at this little freak. I like the ones with rooted hair. They're just so funny. Oh, there's um that one. Angles. Right? Yeah, because I was mad because no angles is this is shapes. And then angles is the OMG, right? Am I yeah. am I wrong? No, you're right. I remember being mad because I thought the the name that the tot was the cat was better. This hair is great. So cute. <laughs> that was so hateful. Oh. What is it, Rainbow High Budget? Yeah, not this one. Oh, that one. oh, I have Gabriella. Gabby, I... yeah. She has the best top there. Skylar's Series One top. Oh. These guys' shoes just fall off so easily. I feel like it's going to be impossible to find them thrifting. Mm -hmm. We're looking at stuff. Not me. I don't look. Look at oh, whoa. Did you see this, Jane? What? The shoe jewelry activity to make... You make them little charms. That's really cute. Oh, your stupid bracelet. That's cute. That's really cute. Why doesn't Barbie do anything fun anymore? They hate it. They hate fun. Gotta look through all the ponies. Which I'm gonna put them here, but they'll go back where they go in a second. Okay, guys? No, they won't. <laughs> She's not gonna put them back. Don't listen to her. I have to clarify because people get, like, actually mad. And no, I'm like, I you do know I cut the camera immediately after for a reason, right? It's like when you take stuff down off the wall. <laughs> Why'd you put it on the floor? Yeah. Wait. Oh, this one's scrongly. Look, he's got crunching on his chest. Jaru. Who's this? That's one of the, like, 90s blue legs, I think. But I think they still use that scope, so I could be wrong on the ear. He's so funny. He's got this little booties. This one's a freak. What? Look at the... What are you? What is your problem? <laughs> Sorry if my nails are a little dirty, guys. I have mascara on right now. And I keep touching them. Horse. Without thinking. Putting all these horse back. What is her? I don't know. I, don't... Oh! Did you... I need the bearskin rug for my dolls. Oh. Like, actually. And then in here, look, guys, we have some Monster and Ever After high dolls. We've got the, her hair stayed nice. I'm like scared to see how G3 holds up at thrift stores because of how G2 has. Oh, babe, look, you, that's yours. Mm -hmm. He has this one. That's his Monster high doll. His one. Do you like that one? <laughs> do you yeah, like that one? Yeah, we do. It makes noise. Do they, you like it? She, yeah. I'm not, I'm not judging you. I'm asking. Oh, look, that's her outfit. Some good shoes. Oh, I don't remember whose shoes the ears are, but I have them. Those are Frankenstein. Yep. <laughs> oh, more ponies? But these are like big ones. Yeah. This they is... made an even larger fashion style? Because this is the fashion style size. The blue in the hair? See what I mean? They just release the same characters 45 times and just do things like that. Look, her hair is different. Oh, look. The big Celestia. That's the new ones. Yeah, I love this style. This is G4.75. Remember when they made like little inflation guys for the blind bags boxes? They did do that. Why did they do that? The freak. Freak. I want the cat one so bad. I've actually never seen the dog one before. What are they called? Don't they have a funny name? Cabbage. No, these, um, there's like a funny name for the dogs and cats. They don't have cabbage. Patch they are cabbage pets? patch. No, the, it's something goofy, I swear. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I've heard people say, like... Because when I found the cat one, I was all excited, and I showed it in a video, and I should have bought it. But somebody had said the name, and I was like, what? Look at this. Her hair is so perfect. Long hair. What do you think about Cabbage Patch dolls, Brett? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> oh. Do you like these? Kind of cute. Have you seen them before? No. You have. This is Secret Crush. You've seen little ones. 
I don't have any of the big ones. Oh, Amber. Dog Mustafin's talking. There's Amber and Sophia. Oh, why does Sophia have no paint on her face? She doesn't have any blushing or anything. She looks tired. Dean, look how tired she looks. You okay? What's Dean doing? I love how I just glazed right over those Care Bears over there. Don't worry, you guys. We'll get back. Oh, that's cute. And then this is, um, oh. This is your boy. It's a glow squid. Hey, we, yeah, we have that. This is the, um, Build-A-Bear thing. This pillow. Swiper. Did you want the Squeak Squad mouse? I don't know him. You, you do know him. You got him. Not personally. Who is this? It's a jelly cat thing? I don't know this guy. I don't know how I feel about him. <laughs> I know how I feel about Skippy John Jones, though. What'd you say, Dean? Uh, huh. Yeah, the fairies. How much is it? I like it. Twenty. Yeah, the moonlight fairies. They're my favorite. I love the fairies. This is one of those knockoffs that are really cute. They are really cute, and they have good articulation. Yeah, that this one's actually a decent weight. This is, yeah. We keep seeing these. Oh. Where did I see these last? I, I we saw them together right at the um flea market that we went to. Mm -hmm. I want her. Their fake Esmeralda is really pretty. Why did they make that? Yeah. Because it's cool, like, for the newest Disney movie that had just come out, right? Uh, their bootleg? Yeah. I thought it was oh, yeah. just, like, a separate no, thing. No, it's horrible. <laughs> Look at the bears. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much do you think they care? Are, these are, like, a slightly larger size than the one I have. The ones I have. But I don't need every size. It's okay. It's in great condition. Do you like the art? It's cute. I've got your, I don't know how I feel about those guys. But look, we have these wuzzles. Now I'm confident to say that they're wuzzles because I do know. And then up here, I have like all of them. So, well, I'm missing one, but not one of the ones that's here. And I'm not a big fan of those ones. I'm sorry, guys. Just, I'm just not. And then look here, there's all the little bins. So this is what, um, when Nicole came, this is what she was digging through forever. Oh. I think you need that. The Mario watch. I love the little candy or whatever you would put in there. Look, the little Hatchimals. And this, who is this guy? So many Barbie pets. Well, now Barbie pets are super common because they have the Barbie pets line. Oh, look, the blind bag. Oh. Starlight glimmer, but with like icing hair. And look. Mrs. Cake, I think. I don't have that one, I don't think. I need to assess my, oh, Rarity with icing here. This is, if the hat comes off, there's just like a weird mass on the back of her head. And then um, Shopkins, lots of Shopkins. I love these little freaks. Oh, look, this one's an alien. What's his deal? Or I guess he's an astronaut, not an alien. And then over here, I just saw N O and was like, okay, I want to know if they can. Um, we have some little as pet shops. He's silly. I don't. He's little. I don't know what his deal is though. This is um, this is what dress to impress looks like for me. Okay. Let's go. We've got the um, inbox. Area. I know we've been here before, but I've got to show, like, here's the Spice Girls. Look at them. And then down here, oh! She comes with tickets. And a pizza. Do you like her bread? She has little tokens, too, it looks like. She loves to celebrate birthdays at Chuck E. Cheese with her friends. It's awesome fun. Oh. I had the, um... Okay, she's not on the box. I had one that was looked exactly like this, but had green. Like, very similar outfit. She had the hat and the scarf. I guess maybe that's, like, the Teresa for this? I don't know. But I had that one as a kid. And I do have her again. But I don't have this version. 
and then we have some Coca-Cola Barbies. Um, March of Dimes Barbie. I love this one because she has like, how cute is the shower wall thing? Isn't that fun? She's been here for a while. And then, oh, that one's for me. I'm just gonna slowly build this collection, but I just got the um, Ruby one. I think that'll be in a different video from this one that I think we can get away with two videos. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's just a princess. Be a princess with Barbie. Ask a grown up to help. Oh, I see. I thought it was instructions for how to be a princess, but it's just to make the crown. But I was like, step one is to ask a grown up to help you be a princess. You shouldn't have to ask. It's just. And then, um,. The real model collection doll there. Okay, and then we move. An InSync Barbie, we've seen that one before. We've got some Britney's. Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. <laughs> Your reaction was visceral, I wish we caught it. <laughs> Did I look upset? It was like this. This is a Jack Pacific doll. See? Early on, they just did generics. Um, but they did some really cool ones. Um, and then down here, we've got G3 Torlai. We've got some fancy dress. Oh, I don't have that version of her. Um, oh, Winter Velvet Barbie again. <laughs> we see her all the time. But Yuletide Romance. We've got Butterfly Princess, who's tempting. Definitely tempting. And then oh, we've got a really beautiful Barbie case. I love the art. We move. We've got more Cabbage Patch under there. Got the 2004. That's my favorite holiday Barbie, maybe. I'm still debating. And then look at Rose Barbie. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, look at that. So cool. So like, oh, there's two of her, Dean. What? But she has two different hair colors, but she has the same crown. What is your deal? I love you. Isn't her face amazing? Is she up there anymore? I feel like it's, I think the, uh, I know that face. Oh, and then we've got like a 2010 one and a really, this is the Brooke outfit. <laughs> um, we have a Dawn doll. She's balding, but I love Dawn. Oh, Wink shoes. Are there Wink dolls in here? They're used. We've got really cool little outfit here. Continue. This is, um, this doll's fully hollow, like really light. Another Dawn. I wonder if there's any Dawn clothing, because I would love to have some Dawns. Finally. We have a Mycene Boy. Excellent outfits. And look. Ooh, I want her. That's, um, sporty maybe? I don't remember which one from the original Fashionistas line. I think these have, yeah, they have elastic. Um, the, one of those weird doll collector things, y'all, like, yeah, elastic. <laughs> um, another Dawn. They're so pretty. Is this, this guy got chewed up. Look at his, Sorry. his toes. <laughs> Some more gorgeous. This is such a fun, varied bin. This is Merlia. Millie. Keep going. Oh, I have this doll. Um, I'm not gonna say which one though, because I don't wanna be wrong, but I do have this doll. <laughs> We've got some more boys. There's the face that everybody doesn't like from this era. Um and nineties or eighties? I'm still learning you guys. And here's a bell. Bags and there's so many little. Oh, look at this little Kelly Club. It says five. Is it her fifth birthday? So cute. And look at this little accessory case for your Barbies from Territory. This is really cute. There's another one. Oh, really? This one. What's the deal? I don't know. This is the first step on this is Shakespeare. 
I like that you can carry that one around. Yeah, These are so cute. Here, yeah, I think this one's already priced, so it doesn't go in this box. I'll get it back later. Um, so many goodies. Look, the McDonald's meal. I, I'm actually getting that. Like, that is so cute. <laughs> oh. Look at the foods. How cute. It says drug food. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the doll food, you guys. So fun. All right, Dean's digging through the Barbie size clothes. Look what I found. The Bratz clothes and the Bratz shoes. <laughs> so look, so is this a Wintertime Wonderland piece or no? If it is, I don't have this one yet. And we've got some pants. See, this is when that encyclopedic knowledge of Bratz would come in handy. Do I have two different colored eyebrows right now? I did not do a good job um, washing off my makeup. Uh, this morning. <laughs> um, we've got another Wintertime Wonderland. I bet that is a Wintertime Wonderland sled. Um, this is a really cute piece that I don't think I have, so I would like that. And then this one is um, Secret Date Megan's, right? But it also came with one of the um, others. Oh, this is a What's Her Face piece. I'm pretty sure. Well, we never confirmed. Nobody confirmed in my comments. I was hoping some What's Her Face expert would roll in and be like, yeah, that piece is that. But anyway, if you know anything about What's Her Face or 2000s dolls let me know whose outfit this is my eyebrows are fully two different colors <laughs> um my voice is dead you guys i'm sorry we um were in huntsville yesterday at a convention and we are um i did clean my face but clearly i didn't do a great job i actually am missing one of these so this is great um is these is this piece i don't know if i have this what you doing me you were serving uh -huh. leg so here's these. Oh, that, I love those pants, they're so cute. Oh, oh look at this. Look at this one. I think this is Brad's, so I don't know whose though. And then oh, look at this God. one. Is this? Is it there? This is trademark MGA, but I don't know it. But I really like it, so it's very cute. Um, I'm blocking the camera, let me move that. Um, ooh, look at that piece. That is so cute. Love it. It's Jennifer. <laughs> um, some little sunglasses there. Ooh, what is that for? I think that might be a form of funk one I don't have yet. I don't know though. That's really cute. I love little accessories like that because those are the things that like I don't even consider it. I like I'll consider it complete without that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But then when you have it, it's like whoa. That's Secret Date Nevera, but also one of the others. You want to look through the Brad's clothes? Yeah. These fit a lot of y'all stuff, right? Oh, this is what's her face. That is absolutely what's her facey. Oh, it's reversible. That's the original sweet doll. Oh, I have a ton of this stuff extra if you need any. Really? They fit um, We Three Friends size dolls. We Three Friends. This is, um, I swear this goes to hey, uh, Barbie. I don't remember. Here's, these are for, um, is it Dana that had these for Winter Time Wonderland? This is huge. I think this is um, My Scene Boy. This is Formal Funk Sasha, and I don't think I have that specific accessory. Oh, look. That's from one of the fashion packs. That one's so cute. Move the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, whose is that? I don't believe I have that. Um, but I don't know for sure. It's this is What's Her Face. It's just Rock Angel. No, it's not I like don't know. Flowers. This is very cute. I think this goes to... Um, ooh, I don't have it, but I'm pretty sure I have the doll that that goes to. This little vest. Yeah, um, let's Come here. People love to see the Bratz clothes. This is very cute too. I want this. Um, I love the little bags. Ooh, that's ooh la la. I don't have that. I don't know if that one's Kumi's. I need that hat. Where are the dolls that go to this? I don't know. There's like more dolls than this one. Yeah, I looked through that one. Oh, is that the one that was here? Yeah. Yeah, I pushed it under. Uh, I see you, I see you. It, do you still want to look through it though? Yeah. Look at this top. I don't... I don't believe I have that one. It's hard with the random Bratz clothes, dude. Because I have so many little tiny bags that I've individually sorted. But if it's not on the doll, it's not like fresh on my mind. Look at that. That's so cutie. I think that's Wildlife Safari. This is very cute. I don't have this. I don't know what it is. I like the, the shredded bottom. It is so fun. cute. I feel like I look crazy. Oh, look, another one. It's a different one. Yeah, that one's sad. I thought it was the same, but this one's sad. Ooh, look at that little purse. 
missing the string, or maybe it's a clutch. More than likely a clutch. Oh, what's inside? <laughs> did you have more brats hiding, or did someone already grab them? Uh, I, I don't know. That's what I, I got the back room built, so now I'm going through all this small, teeny, tiny stuff and dolls and separating them at this point. So, so exciting. You've done a great job if you sorted these. This is almost exclusively brats. Mm -hmm. There's a few other things. Look at this one. As part these of this go set, to a Chloe. Yeah, that's um, Wintertime Wonderland. This shoe, I don't believe I have, so hopefully I... Oh, yay! I'm pretty sure I know what doll that one goes to, but I don't think I have the doll yet. And then, so it's such an awkward way to show stuff, but um, you guys like it, I think. Um, it's harder to hold the camera, but um, I'll turn the camera around and show you this stuff on the floor where we're looking at it. Um, this little, is that a hair stick? Is that what that is? It's like cow print. I need it. <laughs> um, Why is it cow print? I don't know. Look at this little, what does that go to? It's like an itty bitty cute little crown. There's so many itty bitty, oh, how cute. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with identifying whose earrings are whose. Like, that's, that's not up to me. <laughs> oh, but there's a pair here. So hopefully I can figure out whose those are. Okay, I'll turn the camera around. What do you have? I don't know. <laughs> this is one of the Chloe dolls. It, it's like, exp it's something it. One of those ones. <laughs> it, it, Megan. It, Chloe. This was a beach party doll, I think. This is my scene. Yeah, that's, um... Like a Vespa doll, I think. This is from the Minions collab. Really? For yeah. her doorbells? No, for uh, for Barbara. It was oh. a fashion pack. It's really cute. Oh, I forgot there was a fashion pack. Yeah. Did they not do a doll? No. That's so lame. Because they hate me. <laughs> oh, look at that. <gasps> That's. I fun. think that goes to Wildlife Safari, maybe. It, if it doesn't, it matches. That is so cute. That would fit Pure Nemo, I think. Brat stuff fits Pure Nemo somewhat. Mm -hmm. If you really try. Well, they fit. Uh, <laughs> they fit the extra smalls really well. But that's not. um that go you're picking a lot of stuff from the same set am i <laughs> yeah you could complete the doll here's these i complete the doll <laughs> and then not have the doll <laughs> i have a lot of brad's doll clothes that i have like the full oh that's rock angels i think i don't have that one my rock angels i have at least enough to display each one but i don't have their like jackets and hats and everything mm -hmm. And, oh my god, the belts. There's so many little belts and stuff with brats, and I'm just like, this They're goes so to that cute. winter set you have, too. Oh, is that really brat? Mm -hmm. Wow. Isn't it nice? It's, like, actually woven. Yeah. This is one of my favorite fashion packs. It's so cute. Oh. What's that? Is that a belt? That is from What's Her Face, and I'm still not sure what it is. It I like think it's a belt. It's like that little shirt. I don't know whose shirt that is. It's cute. I just love that they use the actual knit fabrics. It's so nice. That's Wintertime Wonderland. Or sorry. No, no it's not. Um, sorry. Yeah, no, you need a canteen. Wildlife Safari. I'm pretty sure that's Wildlife Safari. You do need a canteen. This goes to your doll. That's, oh, that's sick. <laughs> this top is so cute, too. It's missing the string, but you could add one. But it's too small for most of your stuff, because brass tops are so tiny. Yeah, that would fit. And it's not stretchy. Like a one toss gather. Oh, look at this little... Ooh, even though there's only one of that, I want it. What is it's it? Earrings. Oh. But it's, like, really specific. You style the hair where it's parted a certain way. Here's your swag. <laughs> yeah, the boys have a bunch of really cute stuff like that. Look at this little bracelet. Yeah, the boys' clothes are really good. I know, but I just... I just don't... You just don't... Like this boys. shirt goes with that orange shirt you have, I think, from the same doll. I think? And it's a little bit stretchy, so you have more wiggle room with it. This is a good shirt, too. That's a Chloe doll. I think you have... Do these go to... No, I don't think so. I have... My Chloe's wearing this and it looks stupid. I think it goes to this doll. Right? I don't know, but that's <laughs> the ugliest fit I've like, ever seen. Like... <laughs> just this. Yeah. I'm just wearing that. No. <laughs> I think this might be Brad's boys or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bigger. Than... And these go to your um, Dana. That These are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. I think these also go to that one. They're so chunky. Ooh, I don't know this shoe. That is a cute shoe. I just hate pointed toe stuff. But on Bratz it works, but in real life I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't have those shoes. I'm just trying to get more of my Bratz on display because you guys would be surprised if you don't watch all my videos how many Bratz I have that aren't on display. It's a little earring too. Oh, 
I have, this is um, Forever Diamonds, right? I don't believe I have a pair. I think I have one. Oh, it's a matching purse. We're assessing the doll clothes, Brett. This purse is so cute. Oh, that goes with this. I don't think, because this is, is a purse, so I don't know. You, it's it the could. same. It's the same. It's similar, yeah. No. <laughs> it's the same. My voice is gone. I sound crazy when I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like maximum swag. Is that leather? Yeah. That well, like it's pleather. It's pleather. No, it's not. It's real. It's um, from a doll cow. <laughs> what are the doll ethics like? For the oh, for a doll pleather yeah, or for, for a doll leather. leather this I, I've never seen this outfit look this clean. Like me too. Move. Oh, I don't know. Her. You fool. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's need to move. They're so common. Dude, that shirt haunts me when I go through like doll clothes bags at thrift stores. Oh, you forgot some. I know. I was trying. We to need to get a little baggy. Oh, dude, which ones are you taking? Um, you don't want the brat's shoes, huh? You're a Mycene shoe purist. All right. Yeah. I was just delivered this vintage Barbie case that allegedly has things in it. Also, I just broke my nails, so please excuse that. Ta-da! Oh my god, I have this. This goes to a Michael Jackson doll. This is Patina the Poodle, I think. Look at him. Jeez. Do they really just not fit in their own cases? They fit so perfectly. Wow. It's like a ton of Ken stuff. It's all actually his stuff. I know. Wow. And it even has this. I love when they come with the little drawer. I have Midge's little drawer. I've actually never seen the Ken case before. That is so cool. This is me, if you even care. I don't. Okay. All right, y'all, new angle for this big box. Um, I wasn't originally going to film, but then I started seeing um, Ever After High, and then I saw a Winx outfit, and then I was like, okay, I probably should. So we've got Hunter Huntsman. We've got this interesting, maybe like a light up on him. Um, this Hasbro Ariel. This is one of the like Dreamtopia or something. Here's a Hasbro Ariel, a Hasbro Mulan, Hasbro Elsa, I think. It's a flocked hair. Interesting. Do you think she had a... Is that just one of the fashionistas? She's cute. Um, and then look, this guy's outfit on, I think, a Ryan doll. Um, and then we have... Um, I'm blanking on her name right now, and I don't want to be wrong. And then, oh, what is this doll? Oh, a princess in me? I think I love the faces on these. They're so pretty. Um got a Disney store Jasmine but that outfit seems a lot older than the ones that I have this might be like a 2012 and back but I don't know also the outfit might not go to that exact doll it's an OMG starting to get busy <laughs> um, I'm just gonna dig through see what we can find what is this oh it's like a little swimways thingy um, too bad she's missing one of her shoes and her headband because she's so cute. But I'll double check through here off camera, you guys, to see if there's anything else. Ooh, I found a little interesting little outfit on this one. And there's a Barbie movie Barbie already. All right, you guys, I think I need this. This is the couch that transforms into a bunk bed, and that's really funny to me. And I think I need it. And then this is like a... Oh, yeah, they make a ton of places like this for the Play-Doh. Um... If it's Plato, I think it's just called dough or something. So, tons of play sets in different furniture pieces. And there's just so much. Oh my goodness, look. Is that, yeah, I love the faces on these ones. When Hasbro first got the license. Well, I think they did those for a long time, but I remember when they switched. And then you've got this little mini Frozen set. Oh, and this Anna. They were called Mini Kingdom, right? I have the coronation Anna I bought when she came out, and I thought she was so cool. Oh, look at this. Cool. Okay. Teehee. Oh, look, there's like a just big toys, sorted table. Look, you guys, I didn't see. How cute is this one? Oh, look, available on video, 2001. 
I wonder what yeah, is that referring to the nutcracker? But she was in really good condition. I know. I saw her. So and I cute. <laughs> if I put this from school? No. I might be wrong. I don't know. Oh, is it a tablecloth, actually? I can't tell. I think it's a store display. Anyway, you guys, we're done for today. Well, for this store. Yeah, we're done for today. No more. And here's the hall. Most of this is Dean's, so. No, it's not. I didn't get anything. All right, you guys. It's... <laughs> It's been a thousand years. Who is she? <gasps> Babe, hold this. My phone will die, you guys. Look. Look at her. It's a 26. If I'm right and that's 26, someone send me $45 for my intelligence. $25? Yay. I've been wanting to come back here because they always have good American girls. That Marisol will never leave. And the green eyed number whatever I don't remember what number with a haircut hey. hey guys welcome to the haul section of this video so for context on where this came from my friend Dean had flown in to visit for the dialect panel in Huntsville but they were staying a few more days after so I went ahead and took them to some of my favorite spots locally kind of not locally but you know drove them around in birmingham specifically unfortunately one of the stores we really wanted to stop at was closed the day they were here which i'm so bummed about but we still got to stop at some cool places and i'm really grateful that i got to do that with another friend it's really exciting um and i'm so grateful that they'll come out to alabama of all places to hang out it's really really special so anyway this is a modest haul because i had just been on a very large doll hunt if you'd like to see it. Multiple, in fact, I think I did multiple videos because it was so much. Anyway, now it's time to see the haul. So first, I guess we'll start off with the Birthstone Collection Barbie. I got the April Diamond one. I'm really excited about this. I always kind of perceived that these were pretty affordable online and now I'm kicking myself because no, they're not. And even like affordable online, you have to pay the shipping too. So a $20 thing suddenly becomes like a $30 thing, plus fees and other things. I should have picked up the Peridot one. I'm really, really kicking myself because I really want a full collection of these someday, but they'll come to me. It's fine. And I'm really excited to have found this one. It was kind of like my good fortune. I had missed out on the Peridot one. I could have gotten her. I just kind of chose not to. I don't know. Um, and I was rewarded with the beautiful April Diamond one. So I'm very, very excited to get her out of here. And she was only $25. So a steal, honestly, a steal. Okay, then, um, this was just, this was required. So it's a couch for your dolls, it's Barbie sized. I assume it's from Barbie. And then it folds out into a bunk bed. It's perfect. I'm so excited about this. My eventual dollhouse will be so, so cool. And this will be a shining star in somebody's rooms. Not sure. Or room, I guess. Somebody's shared room. Probably the Werecat Twins. I actually have this really cool, like, triple bunk bed thing that I had found at a thrift store years ago that I always used for them. So maybe they'll keep that because Torlai lives with them too. I don't know. But this, this is a work of art. Um, whoever figured out the engineering for this thing, wow. It's, it's just top notch. It's a sight to behold, truly. So really, really excited about this couch bunk bed thing. Okay. <laughs> the majority of the haul is actually, I mean, item wise is the Bratz clothes. I got a lot of Bratz clothes. We will piecemeal sort through these. Oh, for some reason I thought I didn't end up getting this. So I'm glad that I did. Cause as you can probably tell, this thrift haul was several weeks ago. And I haven't looked at anything since because I've been waiting for this video. So anyway, we will go through this stuff piecemeal. And I'm so, so excited. I mentioned it in the hunt. But, oh no, is it a different doll? I only have one of this doll's... Yeah, here's her hat. I thought I didn't have that for some reason. Um, But I only have one of her leg warmers. Oh no, is this the same doll? I think it is. I think this is her other leg warmer. And I thought that was really funny because what are the odds that I find the other leg warmer? But they only had one, too. Like, I wouldn't have been mean and left um, nostalgia with only one of these. Um, but look, now she can be complete. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is Megan's outfit. Like, it's not Nevra's outfit. But I have Wildlife... Or... Wildlife Safari? Wildlife Safari. Um, I have Wildlife Safari Nevra, but with none of her stuff at all. And I have Megan's now complete outfit, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh, this is wonderful. So that can that is ready to go. All set. And then I think this is a wildlife safari doll, Fiona here too. Um, and then I have Adventure Girls. I have two of them just in the box. I don't know. I'm really excited to have more from that line. Anyway, I got another one of the hat, which is totally fine. It's a gorgeous hat. Someday I'll find that Megan nude and it will be a great day. <laughs> or I already have her and I just don't realize it. I need to go through and re-identify all of my nude Bratz dolls. Okay, next we have this Fashionista's Barbie doll. Um, I did not Google them before this video, but I was really excited about this one because I really love this specific articulated bar body for Barbies it is so nice. I don't like that this is one of the elastic hipped ones. Um, they get loose over time and they don't hold poses as well, but there's just something so satisfying about the way these ones move. This isn't my absolute favorite. There's a modification of this one. This one has these weird knees that don't turn at all, which kind of sucks. Um, but this, the chest articulation adds so much to me. And I'm pretty sure this is the like 2010s original Fashionistas line. And is this 40? I might be wrong, but, um, she's just so cute. And I have a lot of Barbie fashion packs and she'll definitely find one. I'm just very indecisive when I put my dolls in fashion. See that posing? So cute. Just a good find. I might actually have part of her outfit. I'll need to look which specific one that is. I'm pretty sure that's just the regular, like, original release. But we'll see. We will see. And then we have these strawberry shortcake dolls. Okay, wait. We'll wait on them because we have more Barbies. Okay. I got this Pikachu top. It's from a Kellogg's promotion. I liked that it was still in the container and I liked how round he was. So I decided I should, I should have this. Right? I like it. <laughs> Anyway, um, I will be leaving this sealed probably because I know eventually I'll find it out of the packaging, um, but I just thought it was really delightful. And then I also got this little Happy Meal. Um, I really like the specific era this is from. I believe it's either late 90s or early 2000s. I could be totally wrong though, um, but I just love the McDonald Land characters. I specifically really love Grimace, and this is in good enough condition that I can actually use it. It is actually chewed, which is interesting, um, but you know, that just adds to the, the realism of the place that right <laughs> um so i had to pick this up you could have it on your bunk bed couch maybe on the bottom bunk don't be doing it on the top bunk because then it's going to get to the bottom bunk and that's disgusting all right now that pikachu's out of the way let's get to these so i was very intrigued by these so you know i got them and i would not have gotten both i'm not that greedy i promise but they they're variants and it's so interesting because i think these are the same release so I believe these are 1976 ballerina Barbie. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm very new, especially to the 70s, but just Barbie in general, I'm not super good with. Um, but I love this face sculpt. It's so cute. And I didn't know they used it past the original dolls that had it. So I was really pumped. Um, this is one of the like earlier faces and I just think it's so gorgeous. Um, well, this one's really... They have some kind of mechanism. They're interesting. And one of them has this like platinum blonde hair and the other one has this yellower hair. And I'll turn the camera around and show these closer when we look at the Bratz clothes later. I just, aren't they cool? Now they do need some good cleaning and they seem to have a unique body. So hopefully I can get them all cleaned up. But considering their age, their hair's in great shape. Their faces are gorgeous. There's no paint issues. So I am a happy camper. Um, those are disgusting though. So they're going straight into the restoration area. <laughs> anyway. Now it's time for the strawberry shortcakes. So excited about these. I know this is a smaller haul, but like everything I got was really good because my budget, I was like, I'm not spending too much more on dolls in these next couple of uh, like weeks. Everything that I got from this specific thrift trip was very meticulously picked. It's all stuff that I really, really wanted and I couldn't leave behind because my budget was so close to being done for like random doll spending for the month, you know? So I didn't want to go over that and I didn't. I'm very proud. Um, I managed to find a bunch of great stuff for great prices and I love it. Anyway, now we have our strawberry shortcake dolls. So I believe these are the Playmates ones. They are early 2000s, I think. I'm very new to the strawberry shortcakes. So also please forgive me if I get their names wrong. I'm very curious about these though because they have the wrong fruits. I mean, I think these are their outfits. So maybe this was one of those lines where they mix them. They still smell, but not super like aggressive, but I don't know if they ever did. I know some of them do though, um, but I don't know about this brand specifically because I don't have really any of these in condition like this out of the box. This is super exciting. So this is Tea Blossom, I believe her name is. 
Um, and then this is Raspberry Tort. And this is Crepe Suzette, I think. I'm not 100% confident with the identifications here. Um, is it Tea Blossom? Is that your name? I know this is her. <laughs> um, but they're so cute. And I'm really excited because they even have their little shoes. And these seem really easy to lose, actually. And their outfits are so cute, too. Oh. I wonder... That, like, that must go in the front, right? Surely. But there's, like, the Velcro there. I don't know. These are so cute. The clothing is really nice quality. I really like this one's face in particular. I think the, like, color scheme all works. Their hair is... It needs work. It's not great. Um, It's in good condition, though. It just needs, you know, some work. And it looks like their hair was styled at Nostalgia, possibly, because those rubber bands look familiar. I'm so pumped. Also, how cute is it that she picked a green one for this doll? And the orange ones for these dolls. I think that was intentional. That's adorable. Look! New Strawberry Shortcake dolls. For some reason, like, Strawberry Shortcake is such a prolific brand. Like, it's everywhere. Everybody knows it. And the dolls surely sold pretty well. Maybe not during this era. But you don't really find Strawberry Shortcake too much of any era. So it's kind of interesting. I don't really know what that's about. All right. Before we turn the camera around and look at everything up close, we have the last thing. So my phone died. And I had not brought a charger. So, um, the footage that I got was the footage that I got, and I'm so lucky that I had, like, 1% left and managed to capture this moment. I, I was filming because I knew, like, this is a spot that I generally find stuff, so I decided I'm gonna go for it. And it paid off because I managed to capture the moment that I saw, and I'm pretty sure correctly identified this American Girl doll. So, I believe that this is number 26. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. I went by what I believe is her side part right here the length of her hair, her face sculpt, everything. I'm pretty sure this is number 26. I really want number 26. That was a specific wish list one for me. So that's why I instantly knew her number. I'm not there yet where I just know all their numbers yet. Yet. Um, but 26 was one that was specifically on my list. Like, and she has been for years. So I was like, to find her at that spot where I knew she was gonna be like $25 at the same spot that I found Cecile at no less beautiful beautiful i need to go there more probably um but i'm so happy so she's actually in really good condition like she's got a little bit of a nose rub she's got like minor shine marks her outfit is cute but it's not official american girl or anything love the shoes though the shoes will work for me i don't believe they're american girl i think they would tell me if they were so i don't think that they are but aren't these cute like this these pieces are really nice so um i'll actually probably use these um, this dress is also very cute, so I'll keep it around, but I probably won't actually dress any dolls in this one on display. So, once again, the collection video gets a little bit delayed because we've got to fix this beauty up before we can do that collection video, but I am so excited! What a good find! And in the middle of nowhere, no less, so, so excited. I did not find anything else during that whole day, so it's good. Well, oh, wait, I did! Oh, <gasps> sorry, it's not with the dolls, it's in my garage, hold on prime yourself because this was not in the toy hunt so you have no idea about this my phone was dead let me go get it i was like hold on i filmed a brats thing what was it and then i was like oh yeah it's the same place that i got my rock angel stage from the same spot actually i'm pretty sure and i found this and it's gross i'm holding it up right now because i don't want it to touch the floor in here um i need to clean it very extensively but i found a little brats skateboard it's got sasha on it she looks great and it's a brat skateboard it's in terrible well it's in used condition we'll say but oh it's magnificent so i need to figure out how to clean a skateboard other than just running with like a toothbrush and dish soap i i don't know what else to do um i rode this around the antique mall i had a lot of fun well i don't know how to skateboard i was not doing so hot but um we i think i filmed a video of it on my husband's phone and if i did it will be the outro clip for this video um but yeah i I would assume that this exists, considering Bratz, this would exist, um, but it's just wonderful. Like, if I ever found a Bratz bike, I could not get that. If I found a Wings Club one, I would figure it out, I would get it, if that even exists. So a skateboard is perfect, and I have a Rainbow High skateboard too, and they're... <sighs> this is great. This is great. I love this. I love weird merch. I know this isn't too weird, but to me, like, Bratz skateboard, that's bizarre. I love it. Um, so yeah, now let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at everything I got. Welcome y'all. First, this is the Birthstone Collection Barbie that I got. I noticed a lot of them have this discoloration issue. Um, 
not too big of a deal to me. <laughs> Several of mine have it, so she'll fit in. Um, but yeah, so cute. So now I think I have five of them. Uh, so definitely we'll be including these in unboxing. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a 2000s era Barbie mouse unboxing sort of video. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do those. Um, then I've got my Barbies, which I've got on this bag so that they don't touch my floor because um, their legs are pretty gross. But this is what they look like, and they're in great condition. This one has something going on with the face, probably just some degradation. But, I mean, look at them. And it's just so interesting that they have what seems to be a totally different hair fiber. So, pretty cool. And even the faces are a little bit different. So, I went ahead and got both, because they're variants. Or maybe this is a completely different release, and I'm just dumb. I have no idea. But I just fell in love with them, and my friend Dean found the first one anyway, so that was really cool. Um, then we have our strawberry shortcakes. So we've got tea, blossom, raspberry tort, and crepe Suzette, and they all look so, so cute. But I don't know, I just think her eye color, her lip color, the blushing, her hair color, like everything works. Um, she's really, really cute too. Her green eyes really pop. Um, they match this outfit. They're just really, really adorable. And hopefully they're wearing their actual outfits. I think this is one of those ones where they've like spoofed it. And they've got, because I have one in box that's this exact doll. I just don't want to be wrong. But anyway, but yeah, super, super cute dolls. And again, super pumped to have ones out of box. Of, do these have, okay, I thought these had uh, fabric underwear for a second, but they don't. Oh, but look at the little sculpt one. That's adorable. Um, yeah, for my collection. Just an unusual find. I think that line must have not done so hot. Um, this is my big Pikachu. <laughs> I love him. And he's in his little container. Like, isn't that fun? Specifically, that artwork killed me. I wanted that artwork so bad. And then... And I do have a Pokemon collection, by the way. Like, that's not random. Um, and then this is our American Girl, um, number 26. Still deciding on a name. I have a few I'm thinking of. Not sure. Maybe we'll... I'm very indecisive when I have to come up with something for my dolls. Oh, no! Countess Felt. That's her name, right? The spider one. And then we have... Our fashionista. I did not actually look up which one this was like I was supposed to, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. I just, this specific joint is so important to me and I wish more dolls had it. I don't think we'll ever get back to that at the play line. No. <laughs> like, I just don't think it's going to happen. And then the Bratz clothing lot. So, scooching. Let's see everything. So, I got a great deal for all of this and I'm so grateful. And I'm really grateful that I was able to like look through and pick stuff out. Um, this bracelet flew away, which is why I cut the camera. Um, so I'm not going to know who all these go to. I don't know. Sue me. You can be mad if you want to, but it's embarrassing for you. Anyway, um, these really cute Barbie pants. I don't know. I just thought they were amazing. Um, then we have this hat. So I think this is a Rock Angels piece. And my Rock Angels... They're always behind me, so you don't really see them, but they don't have things like their hats or jackets, so hopefully that goes to one. If it doesn't, that's fine, because I'll have another doll that it goes to. This is almost assuredly a Rock Angels jacket, so yippee! So hopefully this does not go to one of the two that I'm missing. That would be funny, though. Um, this, I believe, is Jade's, or maybe Dana. I don't think it's Dana's, uh, but this is probably from Formal Funk. This is a very cute swimsuit. I don't know whose it is, but... Love it. This little stole piece. I don't know that this is Bratz. I don't think that it is. It might be. And then this goes to Ooh La La. Um, I think it's Chloe's, but I might be wrong. My friend said Kumi, and they might have been right. Um, I don't know. And then I have this really cute nightgown, and it says MGA. It could be Moxie, I guess, but it probably is Bratz. I just don't recognize it. There's no year. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I mean, this probably means something, if that means anything to you, um, but I love it. It's really cute. It's a little satin one piece. I've got this little, is this called like a sled? What is this called? This thing! It goes to Wintertime Wonderland Dana, probably. Um, I've got this skirt and this skirt, so one of them goes to, I'm pretty sure this outfit goes to Megan, I think. I don't, so maybe this could go to Nevra, maybe. Maybe I'll start to build my Never doll. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Then we have this really, really cute vest uh, thing. I'm starting to think that this isn't actually her top. Wait, but we got the top. So it probably it. <laughs> um, well, 
you know, it's a really cute piece, so I wanted it for, like, actual styling. I knew a lot of these were going to be doubles for me. Um, then this hat. Oh, the fabric. It's, um, this one has more of the red part. That's interesting. Okay. And then I've got this plaid hat. I don't remember who it goes to, but I just want more Bratz hats because I think they look really cute in them. This is most likely a Bratz. No, I was going to say a Bratz boy, but maybe not. Whoever this belongs to, I've got this purse. I thought it, well, my mom had a purse that looked just like this when I was a kid, but it was black, which I liked. Um, I think it's probably hers. Well, Megan's probably. <laughs> and then I've got the little canteen. So cute. Then we have Sasha's Formal Funk purse, this little butterfly top. This goes to a Phoebe, I believe. I think I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> um, this really cute pink skirt. I would venture to guess these go together. I didn't even think about it in the moment. And then we have some jewelry as well, a little, two different little earrings. I thought that this was a hair stick. I don't know maybe it's very cute it's like cow print this really cute distressed skirt these shoes i have these in green so these are good I, I mean i might also have them in blue if i do i don't recall but i think they're really cute and you can never have too many brat shoes i have a lot of brats and i'm serious a lot of brats probably like 60 or more uh that aren't on display because i just don't have a single piece for them so you know i'm always looking for brats clothes um and then these very cute shoes. They don't have to be their exact outfits, but they have to at least have a similar vibe or at least one piece that I can make work. Uh, then I've got these really cute pants that I suspect go to Wildlife Safari. I wonder why I think that. And then I've got all of these different jewelry pieces. So this is Forever Diamonds, I'm pretty sure. If it's not, it at least maybe something similar came with Forever Diamonds at some point. I've got a set of two earrings and a bracelet that I, uh, I think might go with them. I don't know. And then this little three circle earring thingy. Yeah. All right. I've done some confirming and I have some devastating news. The red jacket that I saw went to Ooh La La Chloe. I was thinking of the Never doll that comes with the red shirt and I was like, oh, that's hers. That was Ooh La La Chloe's jacket. I don't have Ooh La La Chloe, so it's okay. And I honestly might, might, might have that jacket. I need to get all of the Bratz clothes pieces I have like photographed in like big pictures to be like these are the jackets that I have that don't go to dolls and label them but it's just like how do you do that when you're not like on the spot able to say like like this is obvious this is obviously an ulala piece and then I can narrow it down I'm pretty sure it's Chloe's right but like I don't know whose this is um or like this black first stole I don't know Anyway, so we've learned some things. So most of the, or all of the wildlife safari looking pieces go to Megan, indeed. So um, I, I actually did not check on the purse. But um, this Nevra is already wearing <laughs> Megan's stuff. All of it is, including the shoes. I mean, I think she, she came with black shoes of some sort. These might not be the ones, but they looked similar to this at least. And yeah, um, I am missing, well, I might not be missing them, but they were not here. The black... Um, like little heels that she had, which is really iconic that they were like, okay, wildlife safari dolls. Let's give her strappy open toed heels. Perfect. Um, and then I've got Fiona. Um, I'm pretty sure I have her shoes and her top and that's it. I kind of want to just put together Megan's other outfit on her so she can wear the hat and stuff. I also need to fix her hair. It's been years. Um, she's wearing somebody else's pants. I don't know. She's supposed to have like, were they green pants? They're not like this basically. Um, but I could really, I could put these, well, the piece that she's already wearing, but I could put this on Tenevra, and then I could put the long pants, well, and, yeah, I could put this shirt and the long pants onto Fiona, maybe, and then I'll still have enough pieces to kind of, including, like, these jeans and, like, other things that I have, to make another Megan. <laughs> like, if I get Megan eventually, I'll just make it work. I don't know. Um, I think that's funny. Um... And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for the next one. Um, big special video if you like thrift hunts coming soon. I mean, I haven't done it yet. Maybe it'll suck. I don't think it will, but at least it'll be fun to watch even if I don't get anything. Okay, bye. My phone's dead, sorry. Um, but I found this, check it out. How cute. Okay, let's go.